Well, the cleanup effort has already started in Florida following Idalia. These are cadets from the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office clearing trees. By now, most displaced families in Florida may be wondering where their next meal will be coming from. And feeding Northeast Florida annually serves over 260,000 individuals and over 85,000 meals a day. That is almost 32 million pounds of food. Susan King is the executive director of Feeding Northeast Florida. Susan, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Well, what an important mission. So who are the people you're feeding after hurricanes and how long are these meals typically needed? You know, it certainly varies depending upon the destruction that they have suffered, but um, we are prepared to be there as long as needed. Um, as an example, our food bank uh, in, in Fort Myers, uh, the Harry Chapin Food Bank is probably still continuing a year later to be serving people who can have needs. Um, so we are there, we are there immediately, and we are there for the long haul. So would you mind describing the preparation happening on your end before major hurricanes like this, and then the delivery process as well? We're looking at video. I mean, getting to some of these folks seems like a major challenge. Well, it certainly, it certainly can be. Um, in our case, we are part of the Feeding Florida Network. We cover all 67 counties in the state of Florida collectively. And we, in anticipation of any storm, we start meeting daily and sometimes twice a day. As a part of the re disaster recovery program with the state of Florida, we also ha warehouse MREs and water for the state. And so we're prepared for hurricane season um, before it even starts. Once a storm is, is moving into an area, assets are relocated, we are preparing, and then we are on the phone twice a day um, post-storm making sure that adequate supplies are where they need to go. For example, um, Second Harvest of the Big Bend is the food bank serving a lot of the counties that have been significantly impacted up on the Gulf Coast area. Uh, we also have a couple that have, have had significant damage. Um, so we work collectively to get those resources that we have previously staged to those areas immediately and then continue to serve um, as long as needed. That is incredible. Uh, where would you like to see improvement from the state when it comes to feeding residents, especially those who lost everything in this hurricane? Well, I, I, I do believe that our state does a very good job of anticipating and responding to emergencies. They, they, they are very quick, very professional, and, and anticipate those needs. I think what we all have to keep in mind is that, you know, you look at these pictures of the destruction, it's not going to go away overnight. And many times these are people who have never sought any kind of assistance before. So educating people as to resources that are available, making it as easy as possible for them to access those resources. Those are the kind of things that we all collectively need to work on. Well, I think those are really great points. How much food and water have you given out so far and how much do you plan to give out in total? Gosh, I, I don't even know how to how to put a number on that because it depends on, on, on the, the needs as they arise. But I will tell you that yesterday we were mobilizing. We were connecting with the agency partners that we have. We were responding to any inquiries or requests. We will be doing that seven days a week for the foreseeable future, along with the other food banks throughout the state of Florida who are helping out in in these areas that were that were so damaged um we also cross state lines as a feeding america affiliate when when necessary so you know we we have full warehouses in anticipation and we will continue to be receiving probably state assets donations that come from around the country and we'll be moving food by the millions of pounds wow well such incredible work that you're doing you know when you approach somebody who, like you said, maybe has never reached out for any sort of assistance in their lives. What's the feedback from people when they see you on the ground? Oh my gosh, these are basic needs that are being met. And when you don't have food, all you have are worries. And so if we can alleviate one small thing in a family's life while they're going through all of this, it is an incredibly fulfilling for us. And most importantly, they are just filled with gratitude of one less thing that they have to worry about. There's the sense that somebody is there to help support them, I think, is what's most important. Well, that is incredible. How do we all support you feeding Northeast Florida? 
Well, uh, you know, there's a there's a website, Feeding Northeast Florida, and um, and all of the other food banks. Also, Feeding Florida is our association of of food banks covering, as I mentioned, all 67 states, and we work collectively and collaboratively to to assist throughout our our state and and everybody who is who is you know, a resident of this state. So Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.